Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys the features and my first impression about this uh, gaming chair. I just recently got it. Uh, the main purpose for this chair is, is like I'm mainly using for my uh, work. I am spending more than eight hours a day uh, using this. I was suffering with the back pain. I decided to go for this and I got this. I have this setup. I have three 32 inch uh, gaming monitors. I, uh, I just got it after I got this uh, chair. I'm gonna go through the features, how it operates, uh, how was this setup. Uh, I can show you guys my um, initial findings. It's been about a, a month I received it. So I'm still trying to get used to it. Uh, I can show you around like the control panel and all other things. So we can start with the control panel. Here when you press this one it opens the keyboard tray and the upper arm so that you can get out from the chair. So let's see in an action. I press this, as you can see, it just opened the tray and this keeps going up. And you can see that it's gonna continue going up. And I can just easily come up here and sit. As you can see, it's kind of, uh, it has a lot of room. Uh, even if you are tall, you can easily get in and out and as you can see the tray it just open by itself uh, It's automatic when you press that button uh, It will also open the tray There is a separate button for that if you want to let's say you want to just uh, Open or close the, the tray you press the button you can just easily close it I was very worried about this uh, actually like I was thinking if I am like uh, reclining uh, I was thinking that the keyboard and the mouse might fall off but they came up with this thing here it's like there is a little bit uh, height here on this angle maybe uh, it prevents the mouse to go down and the keyboard is the same thing so it is very large i like the size i can put extra things i can uh, have my notepad and i can easily uh, use the large area so as again if i press this one this close uh, this one opens and this one uh, closes if i just press this let's say this is like halfway through and the arm is up so you want to you sit and you decide to close it you have to press the cabin close and it will automatically close the tray and the arm will start reclining as you can see it's going down and it just came all the way down so here you can see from the front angle uh, it just closed all the way so let's see then what else we got here so here we have option which is zero gravity opening and closing if I hold this uh, this is not like one button uh, operation you have to hold it if you want to adjust so if I do this watch the the entire thing it goes and you, you can see that the, the chair start to go all the way back and this is the max it goes so let me go back zoom out as you can see here and from the bottom angle and from the front This is how you can just sit. I can say this thing here for the legs. 
it's amazing that provides a lot of support i was having uh, a lot of leg pain before this chair uh, because i've been sitting all day long so as you can see from this angle i think it's much better so that provides a lot of uh, support for your legs and it's really comfortable you might even fall asleep so let me just try this way as you can see so let's say you are in this angle and you just want to raise the arm so that you want to look higher instead of just putting your head down so we have another option here which would be um, raising the arm itself if I press this watch this as you can see it goes up independently the from the uh, chair I'm not gonna hit on the wall I need I just move my chair a little bit so I can show you guys better so you can see that if you are laying down you can just put the arm all the way up and you would just uh, laying down here let's do that so this would be the angle you would be laying down and from here like this is doom just to show how it looks so that's how and you can let's say you are done either you can press the other button here like uh, decreasing the arm you can see it's going to lower the arm you can stop wherever you want and let's say you want to change the position of the chair so you just press this it will just go up maybe you say okay this is it you can stop and you might want to just get out or do something you just press the button here it will automatically adjust itself to getting out position it will close everything as you can see and the arm still goes up and it just stop so you can come out easily so another option would be the paddle so we have pad this this thing here it's called paddle so let me press you see when you press this it goes up if you are not reclining your chair so let's close this you might be sitting right and you can just put your feet there and get some rest which is really cool uh, we have some uh, holders here cup holders uh, I tried um, even if it's like on the zero gravity if the cup uh, I, I put some cups or some bottles if it's not like like fully uh, uh, top all the way it doesn't uh, spill or something so that's uh, how we can utilize this so other feature would be there is a kind of holder I put my notepads here and some other tools I can put my uh, headphones or something else like some charger cables I put there and this also you can hang your headphone it will hold this has also a mess like messenger messenger so I don't really use the message option because uh, what it does it, it just vibrates it's kind of helpful for um, blood circulation I guess 
so I think it's kind of faulty you see like the first time I press it just blink but if you press and hold it just turns on and maybe you can even hear it's just making some noise not much you can change the frequency here 30 Hertz 45 and 60 and I was talking to the gentleman uh, who helped me to purchase this and from the uh, website he told me that uh, there, there is a aux input in uh, behind the, the chair uh, if you plug in your uh, speaker it also synchronized with the massage chair uh, the, the function and it will just change the, uh, the vibration based on your music so that's that's pretty much it uh, all the functions you might get from this like this is individually open close the, the keyboard tray this is raising the arm individually putting down this is like the pedal this thing here right you can open close uh, this uh, kind of get tends to uh, have dust easily even though I wiped it like almost half an hour ago and it still has show some dust and here we have some space with this goes all the way back when you have the zero gravity uh, you can see some wires going through here when you initially receive this plate is not here you need to put it uh, this is here it's very easy very easy to uh, assemble it it almost comes uh, pre-assembled you just have to uh, raise this arm this part a little bit and put this bolt uh, like this this is the lift it goes to the motor I guess there is some there is two of them so you go you put those to tighten it up and you're kind of done with it so this is the back of it So here, this thing goes up. Initially, when it came, they put all the cables through here. And you see these blue ones? It was coming through here. But I just made some adjustment. And as you can see, like I have some cables here, which is for uh, the monitors. I put all display port cables. So these put these plates can come off uh, I have separate video I'm gonna combine all these and show you guys maybe at the end so you can have some idea what's behind these if you are interested they claim that you can put a computer case but my case would not fit there and I wouldn't even try to uh, put it there I spend a lot of money and time to have this configuration so I'm gonna uh, go back to the, the cable side I just press this as you can see this going down so here originally this came with only this this piece as you can see you see this one this is the original vessel amount so i had a problem with the angle of the monitor being too far when i was sitting so i i was searching for something to make this like closer like closer angle uh, towards me so i found this uh, mini pc uh, adapter which is Ergotron, I believe, uh, about $60 each. I got this. I can put a link on the uh, description if you guys decide to go for it and have the similar setup, uh, which made a lot better for me because when you are sitting here and turning your head constantly, 
towards the left all the way. Uh, it is difficult to see from this angle while you are sitting. So what that mount allow me to do is like pushing this forwards me, like towards me. So now it's way too closer than the original setup. I'm still not really happy. I, I was hoping that it could be more closer, but this is the, like, I spent so much time to have this entire uh, setup aligned the uh, monitors all the same. It was a little bit challenging because of the way this original mount were. So I had to open it three or four times to, there is a bolt inside, you have to make sure that is tight. If you don't make it tight, what happens is this will slide and keep keep going down like the angle will be all the way down and this was causing like issue this was staying up and this was all going all the way down leaning down so i had to just spend almost half day to fix all these monitors so if you get it make sure you tight this really good but it will cause you another problem when you tight it so good you cannot move it at all so you might uh, like me need to spend some time to have the best angle you want so that's that was kind of challenge but i already talked to uh, the person I was in contact uh, and provided my feedback they were very willing to understand the issue and uh, he said that they are going to work on it so here as you can see this is the cable I put through this is 25 feet display port cable the original one they had uh, one HDMI no two hdmi one display port if i don't remember wrong yeah so i didn't want to remove it uh, i kept it as a spare uh, i'm still using for my work computer i'm connecting to it so i can get all the monitor work uh, for the work so why i did that because the first reason was the the original cable is about 16 feet which is uh, like limiting me to move this chair uh, back and forth or have some room so that I don't hit on the wall when the the arm all the way up so that was very limited I put those cables all uh, through here uh, I have a video for that uh, I would be posting so you see it's my setup is not completed yet i just put some tape on it for for now i'm gonna have some better uh, management there so that is uh, the main reason i i had to do that like uh, i wanted to put all display port that was one of the reason and the other reason uh, I was only getting 120 Hz from the signal from the HDMI port uh, because of the converter I was using so I decided to go with the cable and as you can see it works fine and the way they put this arm is very secure yeah, look at this you can see that this is very secure and the cable management is really nice so i i had to just get this color i couldn't find black in 25 feet that's why i just got it and it's minimal visibility here so here let me see if i can show i still have the original one the one i removed uh, i didn't remove i just uh, replaced so you can see that you would put your cables through here and you can let me see if i get the angle yeah from here you would take out the cables and guide it through here so then 
we have this uh, there is a power cable here let me see sorry about the angle maybe I will just open and show it on at the end of the video I will take out this plate to show you guys what's uh, behind it same thing here same arm very sturdy it's strong and same setup I have here the same mount I use uh, Ergatron uh, just for the angle if you if the angle doesn't bother you 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 don't really need it this already has a vessel mount comes with so you would be fine maybe because of uh, my monitor like all all of them is uh, curved so what was happening when I put this all the way towards like, uh, like would it be right so all the way here the, the gap would be close here and what it was doing it was putting this monitor behind the other one I think it's because they are all curved so that's why it was putting behind and there was no way to put it in front of the or ne next to it like this I, I just smoothed it so yeah that that is the main reason I actually had to do that so let's see from this side yeah this side has four USB port you can uh, plug your keyboard and other uh, devices without running through cables over there which is very cool and I use this uh, there is a hole here you see from the uh, keyboard holder I would say this is the bottom of it so what I did was I guided through the cable I took it from here there is a hole here I just put it from here and feed it from the hole and it goes all the way here and comes out nice and easy and it doesn't uh, block the operation of the keyboard tray when it opens and close it doesn't bother it at all so which is very cool so these two screws here you see I had another problem this uh, there is a uh, let me just show you one second sorry for the shaky video okay, so you see here there is a plastic here which and you, you can see there is a kind of tire here when the keyboard goes it just slides let's see in action actually let me open it a little bit more oh, close. Okay. you see when you open and close it just goes through and make it smooth so this was coming off uh, it because it was glued and the glue was not that strong what i did was i put a screw here and another one maybe you can see yeah so it doesn't block the operation so there is no complaint there so what else we got here I think that's all we have for this uh, chair and there is another compartment here you can put your stuff and from this angle that's all we got so I will try to put the uh, unboxing video maybe at the end of the video so that you guys can see what are you gonna get when you order this uh, gaming chair workstation if you have any question or you are thinking to purchase it ask me question put it on the comments I will do my best to show you guys uh, before I forget I just realized I didn't mention you see these two buttons here one would close the side there is 
all the LED lights here and there is a remote control for that which is this so it controls you can change the color uh, I'll turn all, all the lights off maybe you can see better in a second and you can also close this which is very nice at night if you don't want to use the the light above you so you can just turn it on or off which is very cool yeah so yeah, let me just close the light and show how it looks like at night as i mentioned if you have any question regarding the operation how we delivered how it's going to be assembled comment it on the below the comment section i will do my best to respond as soon as possible also i will put a, a link on my description there might be some discount code i'm not sure yet i'm gonna try to get some discount code for you guys so that you can get some discount thank you for watching please don't forget to like this video and subscribe i spent a lot of time to show you guys this i will also have updated videos maybe like after three or six months i'm gonna post another video uh, regarding the likes and dislikes but for now thank you for watching Okay, this is the first look. I just opened the top as well. On the other side, the hammer and the other tools. It's kind of tiring, but finally, let's see this bad boy. It looks nice. It, there is no damage. It seems very nice. I'm so excited about this. Yeah guys. Now I'm going to open these sides as well. The way I open they close this metal with this thing here. Let me show with the light. See this here. They put this metal bar and close this so all you have to do is open this straight just like this one and it just slides out I'm gonna go ahead and remove the side panels I think just removing one would be enough and I will see if I can get some help and move this upstairs for installation alright this is the side open it looks much better in this angle now actually it made me tired it was a little bit tough to take out the bottom part but now we can see more stuff here and just open this and there is some a little bit dirty here, I think 
just this thing made that but overall wow look at the thickness of this thing seems very comfortable I cannot wait until I try this and I can see some USB ports here some holders here very exciting I'm gonna see if I can empty some of this thing inside and get some weight of it and see if we can move this inside today if not I need to call some friend and get some help okay I just opened this box as well it took me like almost 10 15 minutes to remove the things uh, these things again here you have to straighten this all of them and you can pull the top easily uh, again I think this is yeah this one is screwed on the on the wood so I have to either I need to just remove these the sides or I think I can just access the screws here from here the nuts then I can take this out so it has I guess all the parts we have here these are for the the monitors and this is the base it has nice handle and it feels super heavy I think this alone was you see like 200 something pound and this one is here I try to remove this top to reduce the weight but there are a bunch of wires here I could just take out all and put it them again but it's not gonna I don't want to deal with that work that kind of work I'm just gonna call a couple of friends and ask their help to take this inside and also I just figured that you can easily remove these uh, arms if your door is narrow so you have to remove some screws from the bottom and after you do that this this thing comes off then uh, you can like I think there are two or three screws you take them out and you can make it uh, fit in your door but this is overall it's 30 inch I just checked and my doors are about 34 so it should go through easily so I don't have to worry about that yeah now this has to stay here hopefully I can call some friends and get this installed over the weekend all right right now I'm trying to replace the HDMI cables inside this uh, because of the refresh rate one of the monitor I have is only getting 120 Hz so I'm just gonna put a display port cable unfortunately I couldn't find the black color the 25 feet uh, which would be available to deliver right away so I just went for this uh, it's just very minimal it will show up here just a very tiny it part of it it will only show this much and it's not that obvious so I decided to go with it so this process is simple this thing is like across the arm there is this winely here which uh, I actually there is no, no purpose for it besides there is a tiny bit holes on the covers uh, which you would see it otherwise you wouldn't even need that if something happens to it so it's like uh, glued on this with velcro and the arm as you can see here the cables are coming through here and this is the 
HDMI and display. There is two HDMI and one display port uh, available with this when it came. So I'm gonna run through these uh, three display port cables I got and I removed all these plates here. As you can see, it's all removed and from here we can see that where the cables are going this is the difficult part when I was trying to pull the cable initially it was a little bit difficult now I see why this like there is when I push it from down to up it seems it's like bent towards here and when I was pulling on the other end it was difficult so I got like 25 feet cables the one it came come with like uh, only like 15 almost 16 feet and I had very little room here as you can see so it will give me like about 10 feet uh, moving room so that I don't have to put my computer case right be behind it or uh, if I want to move it on the side I would be able to just uh, move it on the side easily so I'm gonna take this off and unplug the cable and shut this off. I don't want to get uh, electric. I'm just gonna uh, unplug everything and uh, actually what I'm planning to do is just uh, maybe I will push the cables on the other side, the new cables, and I will leave the HDMI there in case. I might need it in the future. I'm just gonna leave it there. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, I'll just remove the plastic part. As you can see, we can see the cables here. We can access everything. And okay. so I'm just gonna put the cable from here. I'm not gonna touch the existing ones, as I mentioned before. I will just put the other ones and see how it works. Alright, I just finished the installation of the cables. I installed three display port, one HDMI to uh, C, USB-C, uh, because I'm using for my work laptop. Uh, it doesn't have HDMI. I just uh, went through that to be able to use my work computer without any converter. So this is the setup. There are like there is lots of room to just put lots of cable. I didn't remove the existing cables right now in total three six seven cables going back to the uh, case as you can see here uh, we have here lots of lots of space available here you can put through different cables and I just open the back so that I can drive through these cables from here from here I will get it down and I guess over there and somewhere around there I'm just gonna put it through and get it behind this or this plate comes off as well I'm planning to remove the plates and put the cables all the way down so I don't have to deal with something coming up so it will be better just it will come from the bottom side let me just put some light here as you can see here there is plenty of room on the bottom I'm just gonna go through from the bottom here and put it behind my computer case and let's see all right I just finished the cable I guided through this hole like same as the original one these are the original ones and these four are the one I just did as you can see I pull it down from here let me put more lights here 
put it down here behind the, the motor here which lifts the, the arm and I went it down here and from here so the original cable they put it through this hole and it was coming through I didn't like it I just took them out and I put everything down here here there is a kind of storage here they claim that you can put a computer case here. actually you can fit it but my computer case is kind of big I didn't want to even try it and there is no point because of the look of this I wouldn't even bother doing that so I put all the cables down here and these are the, the USB connectors here it, they made horrible uh, color decision uh, for the USB you know, I think it's just for to point out these are USB 3.0s instead of 2 which is a blue color indicator inside the USB but these are unnecessary I'm gonna put some extensions here I will just put uh, black cables coming out I don't like the blue sticking out so here I'm, I'm almost done I'm just gonna put all the plates back this is like back of the thing for anybody is interested this is how it looks like as you can see there is like the motors here which lifts the arm there is two there is one keyboard main arm feet pedal like this is like a kind of motherboard for this thing or the power unit I would say and we have this uh, what else I can show yeah I think that's all we got here I'm just gonna wrap up wrap this up put the cables uh, in a nicely manner and see how it's gonna work out all right this is the final product I just took out the cables and put it back to the remaining here and for now it's just going like this way under the, the case I didn't want to just put it around I just slide it underneath and then I just did that over there so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, close the back plate and the top and hopefully everything works fine